because I've got the ducks behind me and I just wanted to show you how cute they are. So until then, it's really difficult to stop them making babies. I'm going to introduce you the new horse. I'm going to show you one of the new projects we've got going on next door, which is quite exciting. And a big sustainable project with sandbags and things like this. She arrived five days ago, I think, six, seven, I don't know exactly. And then, new moment to shine. We have a real shortage of um, uh, office volunteers at the moment. Basically just us two. <laughs> Come join us. We need you in our office. This is a circle hole. Going to be like a like an igloo sandbag. I'm Emma and this is Edu. We're the founders of Tenerife Horse Rescue. We are a small non-profit, self-founded, eco-friendly animal sanctuary born in 2018. We are run by a great big family of volunteers. And an even bigger animal family. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to follow our Thinker Life adventures every week. Welcome back, Finker family, to this week's episode of Finker Life, which is where we show you what's going on in the sanctuary. Oh, it's windy. And I'm starting ducked down here. Ducked down. Ha, huh, very funny. Because I've got the ducks behind me and I just wanted to show you how cute they are. Although we do not actively encourage making babies, this mum has been very clever and she has gone somewhere away and every now and again, we take the eggs away every day. And, um, but sometimes they get away with it and then they pop out with these cute little balls of fluff. She's not very happy about Smeagol going nearby. This was fresh water about 10 minutes ago and they all just sit in their water bowls and poop in it, but they are incredibly cute. And the new land we're actually gonna build a big enclosure for where we can put the chickens and the ducks, but there is actually one of our hardest animals to keep on top of is chickens and ducks because they take so much space and we need somewhere to secure, but big enough for them to like fly around and move around in, which we haven't had yet. So until then, it's really difficult to stop them making babies. We're normally good, but she managed, but they're so cute at that age. As you can see, we have ducks everywhere, helping themselves to a, a buffet at the feeding station. The, the food came in this morning. So on this week's episode of Finker Life, it's not all about ducklings. I'm going to introduce you the new horse. I'm gonna show you one of the new projects we've got going on next door, which is quite exciting. And a big sustainable project with sandbags and things like this. And I'm sure there'll be some more things that I see as I walk around. <laughs> so let's start with the new horse. So I'm gonna introduce you Birdie. This is our... Uh, new girl and um, she arrived five days ago I think six seven I don't know exactly and we're, we're gonna have a full video about her whole story coming next Tuesday so we've made it to explain everything more about her but first I just introduce her and uh, give you a start hey birdie come on in new moment to shine oh it's her moment to shine she's going to scratch herself instead so this is Birdie, yeah. making friends with Ava. I don't know how to make her story short. You have to watch Tuesday's video to see her full story, but her story is labeled not too bad because every, as everyone keeps saying, she's not too bad, which is actually a curse for the rescue horse because she looks not too bad. I mean, to our eyes, she does look bad. She's, she's skinny and she's in pain, but because she's considered not too bad, she has a really sad story where she got passed from person to person to person because it can obviously see her problems, which she's got quite a lot, and it's really sad. But there's a whole video about it, so spoiler alert, I don't want to tell you. But I just wanted to show you her in all of, all of her beauty. And we just let her out yesterday because we kept her in the stable for a few days so we can monitor what she was eating and things like this and how her poop was and everything's going quite well. So we've introduced her to Ava, Bruno and Trufa and they're all getting quite well. What is this look? I don't know what that is. Something has been delivered exciting. I have no idea what it is though. I mean, Edu is around, so I presume somebody knows what it's for. Hey! Was this the sand and stuff? This is the first travel. Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect timing, because that's about what I'm about to talk about next. So it's a delivery for the, the house, which we can go talk about. Yeah, that was convenient. Like a couple of seconds before. You have no microphone. You should just couple, uh, come a couple of seconds before because you so... Okay, for the next trip, <laughs> uh, we are going to call you. Okay. Because you see also the Is problem. Coming back today? Uh, still don't know. They have to win. Okay, well, hopefully we'll try and get uh, to the next clip. Uh, but we'll show you what it's about. <laughs> it was good timing. <laughs> or nearly good timing. Uh, yeah. Where is it? Right yeah, over yeah. in the corner. Damn it, you have to tell us when good stuff's happening. This is the problem. There's so much happening all the time and then we always forget to like, hold on, hold on, we need to get a camera. <laughs> and we have a real shortage of, of um, uh, office volunteers at the moment. Office volunteers, here's our new office behind us. 
But um, yeah, we have a shortage of office volunteers at the moment. It's basically just us two <laughs> and Pauli at the moment, but she leaves soon. So we really have a struggle. If you like making videos, or if you like social media, or you want to have practice working in an NGO and anything like this, come join us. <laughs> we need you in our office because we haven't got enough people to film everything that's going on. We're just working too much. What we're doing over here is we had a, um, a volunteer. Well, you'll see her. You've probably seen her on some videos. Roz, she's our horse girl. She's amazing. She's a barefoot trimmer, which really helps me because I've got so much to do and I don't have a lot of time. And since like my last video, since I've been quite unwell recently, I haven't really, it's been really difficult for me to keep on top of their feet. So Roz has saved my life a bit, but even better, she brought, not even better, but equally good. She brought a friend with her. Oh, I've lost my trail of dogs. Oh, there they are. She brought a friend with her and um, he is building, he wants to practice building a sandbag house. He's gonna make, I think you and him are making a whole video about this, right? The whole process so you can see it starting and things. But this is just to show you what we're planning because people do keep asking what we're planning on the new land and what we're doing at the moment. This is just carrying around where people are living. But that obviously I'm guessing was the delivery of gravel that just arrived there. And here, <laughs> it probably doesn't look so exciting right now. This is a circle hole. <laughs> what we, they are building is going to be like a, like an igloo sandbag coming up here. He's measured it all out and flattened the level, the land and done whatever he needs to do to get started. And the next thing is making the bags with the sand in and building it up from there. So right now, not very exciting, but it will be. And it's gonna be in such a beautiful position because it's got the view to the sea. It's got panoramic views actually. And it's panoramic views of Smeagol peeing <laughs> just there. Um, and this is going to be a rental in the future, um, either for internships or if we eventually get the license for holiday rentals, it will be for that as well. And um, so yeah, we're gonna close it all off here. And in the future future, this is gonna be closed off just here. And this will be the side. Wow, that's windy facing that way. This is gonna be closed off here. And this is part of the track system for the horses. This will be the feeding side. So there'll be the feeding there and the horses can come all the way up here. So they'll, you have to imagine a fence behind me and uh, then this, the, the little house here and your, your neighbors will be the horses. At the moment, it's just a building site, but it will be. <laughs> Watch this space. It's quite hard to imagine at this point, but then you have to remember four years ago when we got our first bit of land, it was just empty and nothing. So we have to, it starts with the, uh, with the, uh, like the, the image and hard work and imagination, which luckily our volunteers have. Okay, so let's go see what else is going on. So I was heading back to the Finca, then I thought, actually, you're someone we have up, we could update for a while. This is White Boy. We've had him a long time now, and he's had so many health problems. You might be able to see him in his previous story with his with his mummy. And um, so, but finally, we have some happy story. He's been, I think, since May actually. He's been really suffering from ringbone, which is a really common problem. We actually have a lot here. Look, most of our horses. Mo many people ask us actually, what's a, a you know a common problem that comes a lot. And they expect it to be things like um, laminitis and um, lots of common horse problems. But actually, the thing that we get so often here is ringbone. And for the non-horsey people, because I know there's a lot of non-horsey people that watch this, it's like a type of arthritis that comes. You see, like, the swelling in the lumps here. And this is really painful for them, but it can come from years of bad management, bad shoeing, things like this. And this is often a problem we have the most here because the ground is really hard. And there's obviously we're advocates of barefoot, but there's a lot of people on the island, well, everyone <laughs> uses um, farriers and shoes, but a lot of the ones we've seen are terribly done. They don't shape the shoe, they shape the foot and then stick it on. And long story short, again, for the horse people, oh, I can make other, uh, maybe I'll make another video about this, about our problems specifically for the horse people, because I know we have a lot of different followers and I don't want to get too deep about that for the people who aren't going to be interested. So I will, actually, it's a good point. I'll make another one. <laughs> good point, mental point for myself. I'll make a video on the common problems we have. But yeah, this is something that can happen quite regularly because of the way people are looking after them here. I say they start riding them too young, they put the bad shoes on and they're galloping on the streets and they come to us, oh, ringing. They come to us, it's my mother, so she can hold on a second, sorry, mum. Um, she'll see that on the video. <laughs> um, and it's something that happens really, really often and then it comes on later in life and we have this problem so often. So he's been in a lot of pain with this for a while and we had to really bring back, couldn't walk a lot. But the good news is now he's finally feeling better and we've got a bit of movement out, been 
a slow process with his feet because actually in all my years of horses I have never seen feet so contracted and so I don't know he hasn't been picked out yet so I don't know if you'll be able to see that much on us well you can even see without being picked out he's really really narrow here which is where they're contracted and this is after years of us having them and they've already spread out they were there was almost no frog in the middle there again that's a bit in depth but he's finally a huge improvement and he's walking and his mummy is so happy because she's taken him out again walking and she knows him so well and she can see that he's happy coming to life and moving again so we'll leave with a good story and um and a happy story about white boy i mean you could show us go for a little walk around and show us how happy you are he's just had breakfast he's chilled out go for a little run around and show us how good you're feeling so anyway, that is probably enough for this Finca Life episode of me talking about everything that's going on, everything that's going on from building to horse updates, new horses, things like this. And we've got something else exciting going on at the moment, but I'm not going to show you this because we've just had another new horse arrival and they always come in twos, but we haven't announced anything about this one for legal reasons. So we're going to find out some more and hopefully it'll be on next week's episode of Finca Life. So there's a few things to put in your diary. Next Tuesday, find out more about Birdie. Keep an eye out for the building of the sandbag. And thirdly, keep an eye out for when I can introduce you to the new horse. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Comment below your thoughts. Ask us any questions, what you want to know more about. And I'll show you next week on Think Alive to you updates of animals. Everything, everything you do to help round our videos, um, um, subscribing, commenting, it all helps boost our videos. Get us to the top of the YouTube page, which helps us rescue animals like White Boy, like Birdie, like Dulux, like Chewy. Without you watching our videos, we couldn't do it. So thank you as always, and see you next week. There's so much happening all the time, and then we always forget to like, hold on, hold on, we need to get a camera. <laughs> okay. My tiny dog. I've lost my tiny one. Dilly! Dilly Willy! He came with me and I've lost him. Dilly! He's so little, I lose him. <laughs> but he may, may, I didn't see if he came all the way over here. He may have stopped there and gotten back up that way. Oh well, he'll find me.